So we brand all of our horses, but we don't hot iron brand them. We actually use freeze branding technique. So today we're gonna to go through how to freeze brand a horse, show you the end result, and also show you the difference between what a hot iron brand looks like and what a freeze brand looks like to kind of give you an idea why we do what we do. So join us, we're gonna get started right now. We're gonna go catch Calabar, which is the horse I've been riding all summer. And he kind of needs a brand, so we're gonna freeze brand him today. It's about four or five degrees out, very cold. My hand is pretty frozen already, uh, so <laughs> maybe we won't even need the liquid nitrogen today. <laughs> Let's get started. So transporting it, um, liquid nitrogen takes some time to get the bottle, the canister actually, down to the temperature of the liquid nitrogen. And while it's doing that, it, it really evaporates a lot. So we cover it with a blanket and a box to try to eliminate a lot of that evaporation. So I'm just, I just put it between the, in here because I don't want it sloshing anywhere. The least amount of sloshing possible. No, it's really slick in here, so you've really got to be careful when you're trying to catch a horse on this stuff. That you one don't get, don't actually get kicked by one of these other ones, or number two, slip and fall and get run over. That's really the the key here. Is to not get run over. So I gotta catch Calabar, who's playing over there with another horse. What he's doing. And he's trying to he's trying to be an idiot today already, so. You don't have to rope these horses very often and they kind of figure out what's going on yeah that's right you're not that big and tough after all are you well you're kind of big and tough but i didn't let you go there you go there you go buddy to do um, <clears throat> the next step is that we need to put him in a set of stocks now I built these stocks just for that purpose of uh, freeze branding and also of um, you know kind of dealing with horses that that you have to treat somehow like they get an abscess in their mouth or something so we got to load him up in this mm-hmm all right, so now how you get him in these stocks, you gotta watch out on this concrete here. It's a little slick, so you gotta make sure they don't turn around too fast, slip and fall down. These things are made to, right here, are made to slide right over this. So you gotta, un you gotta open it up like that, but then we made this so you could turn it out of the way so they don't spear themselves on this thing. Now the, the only way to, get them in here is actually lead them all the way through and then back them up into it so it's kind of difficult with one guy but we'll try it and not not let them smash you while you're in here with them so open that one up I'm gonna take a wrap on this like that so you can't get too far past me whoa, 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 whoa. see he needs to be back there there you go Whoa, whoa, no, 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 no. Okay, that's not, that's not gonna work because he's gonna walk right out of here. So I'm gonna put his head where it's supposed to go. 
which is right in here. Push them over there. Put this right here. Close this side. Now, see, he did that really nicely, actually. Normally, they don't do that very nicely. So, you, usually, you have to kind of put this side in and then attach them. Okay, so this, this here attaches to here. So, they can't really try to launch over this top here. Okay, so I'm I'm making this this uh, freeze branding your horse deal and a uh, friend of ours parked his pickup right in the in the shot here so I'm gonna move it but you gotta you gotta see this pickup okay let me just show you all right all right to start it to start this pickup first you got to make sure this is all the way in and you turn the key a little bit okay turn the key forward now put this these two wires you just got to touch them together right here so see if I can do this without you touch these together like this there just like that <laughs> and it starts right up <laughs> then to, to shut it off you got to pull this thing out right here you got to pull it all the way out and that will shut the pickup off I just wanted to show that to you it's kind of a very unique setup let's just say that the very first step to freeze branding because it's kind of a process is to shave the area that we're going to put the brand so you want since it's winter time i want to shave as little as possible i just want to put just a little patch so i can fit the brand there but you want it all the way down to the skin and i'm standing way up here so i don't get kicked so i'm going to just go down like this put that right there Right where I want the brand, so right there. I'm just gonna since it's since it's my only one today, I'm gonna make sure it fits. Yep, fits right in there. So that's all I need right there. All right, next step is I'm gonna go get, take this liquid nitrogen, which I just got this morning. Had to drive all the way to Helena for that. We're gonna put this right here, get it ready. All right, and you take this, this cap out. pour it in here and it pours really fun funny so we just want enough to cover the branding iron like that put this cap back in there right away and put this on there this styrofoam just keeps it from and then we're gonna Stick the branding iron in there and wait till the branding iron stops boiling. You'll be able to see it boil. Watch, put it in there. And it boils because it boils because liquid nitrogen is 325 degrees below zero Fahrenheit. Negative 325 degrees, and the branding iron is only four degrees. So there's a lot of difference in temperature so it'll boil until the branding iron is the same temperature as the liquid nitrogen and it usually doesn't take too long it's usually 25 30 seconds maybe maybe a minute and then it's the right temperature i can still hear it boiling now another question that a lot of people have is does freeze branding hurt the horse so we're going to talk about that today as well because I said in a previous video, it doesn't hurt the horse. What I mean is, is that it's far less painful to the horse than hot iron branding is, but there's good and bad to both. So we'll discuss that in a minute. First, let's get this free brand ready. So while that's boiling, I'm gonna get 
him prepared. So to get him prepared, you need to kind of clean off the dirt. It's a little tough when it's this temperature, but I got to wash it off and then put a little liquid nitrogen on it. Or I mean, and then put 99% alcohol on it to kind of get that skin clean to where your branding iron is making direct contact with the skin. So all I need is just get a little water and kind of brush that off. Get a little water, brush it off. That just kind of gets all that, all the dirt off of there. All right, let's check on our branding iron. Branding iron, see it's not boiling at all now. It's just sitting in there. So that means that the, the branding iron is actually 320 degrees below zero at the moment. So now we just got to put on some alcohol and then as quick as we can, go from the alcohol, put the branding iron on right away. And we're gonna hold it there for 30 seconds. This is 99% alcohol, which is you can only get from a veterinarian, as far as I know. So let's pour, put this on there, just coat the area with it. Like that. All right. Now, before that evaporates off, We're gonna get the branding iron out right here. Okay. And then I'm gonna have to try to hold this and get my timer set for 30 seconds. And as soon as we get it on here, we're gonna get it on there straight like that and then start. And right there. Oh, bud. Oh, buddy. So I don't know if he's what he's feeling, but if this was a hot iron and you held it on here for this long, he would be really, really not happy with you. So he's obviously not feeling like pain like you would with a hot iron, but you still got to be careful. I mean, and I'm putting quite a bit of pressure on there. I want it to sit good. Okay, there's the alarm. Okay, and that is it right there is the brand now what's going to happen with this is this just freezes the hair follicle right there and the the hair will actually come in it damages it that hair will actually come in white right here right in that groove and i'll show you what that looks like all right so on a black horse like this one now this is going to be a little bit difficult to see more difficult to see because it's winter so you can see how that hair is kind of you can see the white hair there this one's tough because look how thick his coat is right there so if we go over here to this one this is what a hot iron looks like see how it's just kind of sloppy it's kind of a big old hole you can see the a right here and the j but it's not very clear look at this horse here this one even with the winter hair you can see the j Whoop. the j and the a Okay, and then on all these horses, not, not on the one we just did, but all these horses, we're going to do, we do numbers. So this is 010, that's aught 10, and that tells us basically the year that we purchased them. And when you have a hundred horses and they're all, you know, half of them are red, it's really good to have numbers on them because sometimes, especially when they come in in the spring and they look totally different, really hard to tell who they are. Okay, here's another one right here. This is 11. Or not, I say 17. Right there, 17. And that is the brand. But you might ask what you do with a white horse because white horses, it's not going to come in white, right? It's going to be, um, it, you're not going to be able to see it at all. So on a white horse, let me find a white horse over here. If we can get up to one. A white horse, you actually hold it on hold the branding iron on there, whoops, sorry buddy, uh, longer, 60 seconds. And what what that does is it kills the hair follicle all together. And then you end up with, you can't even see this, but right here, there's the brand right there. See how it just doesn't have any, somebody did that one funky. <laughs> 
So somebody was drunk when he did that one. It's not even in the right place. It should be right here. It's way up there. But anyway, um, that it just kind of kills the hair follicle altogether and comes in with no hair right there. Here's one right here. I'll show you. Right there. This one, you can see right there, that's a gray horse. And he's got the, the brand right there. We held it on 60 seconds and you can see the brand pretty clearly, right? If this is such a, uh, so much better of a method, right? I mean, it doesn't hurt the horse very much. Uh, you can tell he stood there really nicely. I mean, obviously it's, it's doing something. It's tingling or stinging or something like that, but um, why don't we just do this with everything? Why doesn't everybody just freeze brand their cap? Well, that's because, mainly because it is such a process to do. You have to buy the liquid nitrogen and then you have to, you gotta buy the liquid nitrogen, you gotta shave every one of them, uh, you gotta hold it on there for 30 seconds. It take, It's quite a process. And when you're branding calves, Calves are not like horses. Horses are used to being handled. So when you're handling horses, it's not that bad. They stand there fine. It doesn't stress them out as much. Cattle, on the other hand, the, the least stress you can possibly put them through, the better. The better the meat is, the better they behave, the better it is for their health. So for calves, it's actually better, in my opinion, to get the job done very quickly super quickly and that stresses them less so to get the job done very quickly means hot iron branding them where you have to you put the you heat up the iron put it on there and uh, brand them very quickly only takes a couple of seconds then and they're done so that's why we don't do that so that is freeze branding in a nutshell, why you would do it, why you wouldn't do it. And this one right here that I just did. So at first this was indented. Now it's it's kind of coming out. It's kind of swelling up like that. In a very short time, you won't be able to really see it. It'll just be like a little flaky skin right there where the, where the brand is until that hair starts coming in. Then you'll be able to see the brand, so. That's it, Calabar. You are branded. You're officially branded, buddy. Okay, now, since we've used, we've, we've freeze branded this horse, we're gonna try to pour the rest back into this container. And it doesn't pour like water. Liquid nitrogen pours very weird, but. And the reason we save this is because we might need to do another horse here in the near future. So if we have some extra, we just let it sit here and it will kind of evaporate off. It evaporates fairly quickly, so it doesn't stay good very long, but uh, we try to keep it as long as we can. So what does it cost for liquid nitrogen? Well, that much liquid nitrogen would probably do about 20 to 30 horses if you were really fast, because it evaporates off pretty quick. Um, is about $43. Kind of give you an idea of what it costs to do that. If you guys want to see more of how we do things in the West, how ranching works, more of Calabar and uh, with the, all the training he's going to get this year. And coming up in the very near future, I'm going to do a special because I'm, I decided to ride 100,000 feet for every 100,000 subscribers that I get. Now I'm about 120, 5,000 right now, so I'm a little late on this, but I'll try to keep up with it. That's about 19 miles. So the next one will be 19 miles in the winter, which means I need to get some sharp shoes on him, some shoes with spikes so I don't slip and fall on the ice, and then ride for 19 miles. And I'll, I'll show you what that looks like, how long it takes, and hopefully it's not below zero when I do it. All right, until next time, I'm Trinity Vandenacre. Make sure you subscribe down below for more content like this. I'll see you next time. God bless. 
I just branded this horse, freeze branded him, and people say, oh, it's hurting him for hours and everything. Right here. He's not flinching. His skin isn't flinching. He's not kicking up his foot. Those are all indications. There is no indication that he is feeling that at all right now, other than the maybe a minor irritation, but you, you can't see him doing a thing. So um, just wanted to let you know, for, for freeze branding anyway, the after effects must be very negligible. 